What's up guys? Uh, welcome back to another vlog. This week we're going to talk about polyp wraps and we're going to talk about all the products I use, uh, the order in which I use them in and the benefits I've seen in my tank of doing so. Now uh, I want to get one thing out of the way. You may have seen on my Instagram post they sent me a bunch of stuff and a, and a thank you note and a t-shirt. I'm not sponsored by Polyp Labs. I pay for everything that I, uh, that I get from that company with the exception of the freebie stuff that they sent me. Uh, they don't do sponsorships. They used to, I believe. They don't do that anymore. Um, and the reason um, I can tell that they sent me the, um, the products that they did was just they believe in what I do on my channel, on my Instagram channel, and they, uh, and they, and they did that. So they sent me all that stuff as a, as a kind of thank you from which I am uh, grateful for. It um, makes, kind of, makes things worthwhile when, uh, when companies do that. So just thought I'd get that out of the way, full disclosure. Um, I'm not sponsored by them. I do buy all my own, all my own products. And in doing so, uh, that enables you to kind of tell the tell the, the the true story. I think sometimes if you if you take sponsorship deals off of um, particular brands, you're steered down the path of uh, of maybe not not telling the whole truth and giving the whole picture. So I truly believe in doing that, and I, and I and I know for a fact that um, this company Polyp Lab wouldn't want it any other way. People that they. Um, they believe in their company at, at, and at, at so much so is that they uh, you know they're making the best products and they stand behind that so anyway with that said let's get it get going with what i use um when i use it why i use it um, actually the first thing i'm going to talk about is um the polyp booster so the polyp booster is um it, it, it's 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 black magic it's got a whole bunch of um nutritional compounds in here and what it does is when you add this to your tank, and you, you only add a small amount actually, two, two drops of this, two, they're kind of like little pipettes, I think you call them. You add two drops of this to your tank between one and 15 minutes before feeding, and it triggers um, the feeding response from corals, from inverts, from your, from your uh, zoanthids. And uh, I'd heard about this, I'd, I'd never bought it, and um, I used it for the first time about four days ago, and it is incredible. Um, someone posted on my Instagram that kind of everything stops and takes notice of what's going on around itself in the tank, and that's exactly what happens. You put this in the tank. Now it says add this, but you should follow up with um, refroids after putting this in the tank between one and 15 minutes of, of, of dose in the polyp booster. And it's incredible. It is like black magic. The polyps on some of the corals that I have in there that I hardly see uh, come out, right? Um, even when I feed um, the reefroids on their own. With this, it's incredible. It is, it, the whole world wakes up. Uh, everything in the tank goes crazy. Uh, and I will tell you, even the fish go nuts. They're like, they know something's up. So um, this stuff is incredible especially if you've got finicky cor corals that you want to feed and you're not having um, any success in doing so i would very much recommend this i posted a few pictures on my instagram and i'll try and put them somewhere in the video if i'm smart enough to be able to do that of the response of um the polyps on on uh, on my bird's nest in, in particular that thing was incredible um, never never seen it kind of bush out like that um, also on a, on a couple of acros in in the tank as well. So this thing, this stuff, uh, I never used it before. Used it four days ago. It's incredible. I, I would say if if out of any of these products, if you can only afford one this month, and you already have um, the refroids. In fact, you don't need the refroids to use this, right? If you're feeding other stuff, but get this. It's incredible. So. The next thing, refroids. Everyone knows about refroids. They do um, uh, different sizes of this one. They they also did one that said refroids pro. Now, what I will tell you is the refroids pro is none of none of it is a different composition, right? It's all the same. Um, I was speaking to um, somebody at Polyp Labs, and uh, and and they told me that uh, it, it kind of was a, a marketing thing, right? To call one of these pro, and it, it just means the size of the 
of the actual amount of refroids that you get. So you know they do a nano and they do a normal size, and the pro just means it's a it's a larger size. But this stuff, um, I was I was feeding this stuff sparingly, and by sparingly I I mean no more than a kind of tiny little fingernail for, and I still wouldn't feed all that. I've found um, a much better response in my tank if I'm feeding the recommended amount, right, which is half a tablespoon of this. So I add this to my tank and then about five minutes later, right, I would have mixed up a tablespoon of this into um, about, if you took one of these bottles, right, probably about this much of water. And then I don't I don't turn all my pumps off. I just turn the recirc uh, the the wave makers off, and then I target feed with a couple of things. I have a big turkey baster, and I also have one of those big long hypodermic needle things that I I do for more trickier corals. But yeah, I, I found that while dosing large amounts of this right can can brown your tank up for a couple of days, I think the benefits of feeding this in larger quantities than I was far outweighs the browning in my tank that I get for a couple of days. And in fact, what I will say is since I've been, since my tank, tank has become more mature as time goes on, and now I think it's seven months old, it doesn't brown up at all. I've done this a couple of times, the half, um, the, a tablespoon amount, and um, I will say that I get no issues with browning now. That was, I think, maybe because my tank was not as mature, right, and it, and it couldn't process all the food that was going in there, but that's not the case now. So I use this religiously now, and, um, and I do put in half a teaspoon, mix it up with water, and then squirt it all over the corals. This, this again, is fantastic stuff, and um, your tank will wake up when you use these two things together. Next thing, um, Genesis. So Genesis is um, specifically for, as far as I can tell, um, zoanthids. Um, and I know other corals will use this as well, but this is uh, made up of an inordinate amount of bacterial strains. You add um, one drop per 25 gallons of um, total system volume. And I will say, since I started dosing this, and I've been putting this in my tank now for uh, um, maybe a month, um, I'm seeing zoanthids pop up everywhere. Um, on on the same rock that the the kind of mother colony's on, but that they're, they're popping up all over the place in my tank. I don't know how they get there. I don't really understand that. I don't know if they fall off, reattach, or I don't think that's the case, right? Because the ones that are popping up that are not part of the mother colony are, are tiny, right? They're baby. So I'm not sure how they produce, but I can tell you this does work, and I have seen. Um, uh, g growth of zoanthids in particular um, using Genesis. And again, make sure you shake the bottle of this. Um, but but again, this, this stuff is really cool and I can vouch for, for it working. Next thing, um, plus, I've only been dosing this for a couple of weeks. I can't, um, I can't give you any, um, I can't give you a, a, a full review on this yet. I don't think I've been dosing it enough. However, what I will say, again, this is one drop per uh, 25 gallons of um, total um, water volume or system volume. I dosed this in um, the big tank here behind me and also in my cube upstairs. I will say that, and I don't have any proof to back this up yet because like I say, I've not been dosing it long enough. The corals that I've had up um, um, in, my, in my tiny little tank upstairs, the cube, have shown a great response to this. And in fact, especially in the last two weeks, I can't correlate this together, right? Because I'm gonna show you another product in a minute that, that, that might have helped. But in the cube in particular, right, I see growth on corals that didn't have growth on them. So I don't think it's a bad thing to dose this. I can't vouch for um, what it's doing for the big tank, but the little tank, I think there is some correlation uh, between feeding this and the growth that I'm getting on corals. Um, this won't add, uh, by the way, this won't add nitrates or phosphates to your system. Um, it will, uh, it will not do that. It, it, so, um, don't be worried about, uh, you know, overloading your tank with, um, you know, biological matter that your tank can't process. This is not going to add nitrates or phosphates. All right. On to the next thing. Now these are kind of the same, but they're not. So you've got acids and colors. 
So these are going to add um, a, a variety of amino acids into the tank that aid in uh, both colour and growth of your corals. Previously, I'd been dosing acids and I would put um, one drop per um, total water volume in my tank, uh, but one drop per 25 gallons of total water volume in my tank every day. Um, I've just been sent colour, so this was one of the freebie bottles they sent me, so I've only been dosing this for a couple of, um, for a few days, maybe four days. Now be very careful with this, this is this is normal acids on steroids from what I can understand and uh, you, you need to be very careful that you follow the instructions on this. This is potent stuff. This is um, um, acids in a, in a, in, in a, in a highly uh, concentrated form. So you want to be careful. Do, uh, my advice, this is not the advice of Polyp Labs, but my advice is to not even go near the recommended dose straight away of this, right, and see how stuff reacted. I started off with um, one drop for my 100 gallon tank. I'm now up to two drops and I'm not seeing any negative effects. So more to come on this one. I can't vouch for um, whether this is gonna color up my corals more than normal acids. This was doing a great job, right? This really was doing a great great job since I started dosing the acids. You could really tell the colors coming through on, on, on some of the corals, especially that green slime acro that I have. This thing is meant to work even even better. And, and really it's for people that have, you know, a mass amount of um, SPS corals. And I don't have that, but I wanna give this a go to see how it's working. So more to come on this, but my, my recommendation here is to, um, <clears throat> start the dose in low do not go with the recommended amount because um you know this this stuff is 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 pretty potent and then lastly this thing we talked about the black magic of um of the polyp booster well this thing is this stuff is just as good so this is um a, a buffer it's a magnesium calcium and alkalinity buffer all in one now i don't use this for my big tank um, because I dose with um, my Trident and the, and the DOS and the DDR and all that fancy stuff, right? And I'm, I'm putting calcium and alkalinity into the big tank. This I use for um, my cube upstairs. And I think for that application, tank, size, tank sizes like that, this is excellent. Listen, you can use this in a big tank, right? If you, if you can't afford a Trident and that kind of dosing, it's going to work. It's just the amounts that you will put in right are far greater than the amounts that you would put in for, for a smaller tank. But I will tell you um, that since I started dosing this in my cube, um, everything, everything seems far happier. There are corals in there that I'd taken out of my big tank because of the Mithrax crab rip um, had been um, eaten. They are coming back. And in fact, today I noticed that the... Um, I don't know what it is. It's one of my green SPS corals in there has got um, uh, vertical growth. I've never seen that before. I'd, I'd seen growth around the base. I'd never seen it going upwards. It's going upwards. And it wasn't doing that before I started um, dosing, dosing this stuff to keep um, those three parameters in check. And again, it, this comes in a powdered form in this bottle. This powder kind of filled up to this level. And what you do is you you fill it up with RO water, uh, fresh RO water to um, to the neck. You shake it a lot, um, and then you fill it up again to almost the top, and you shake it again, and, and you're good to go. Every time you then come to use it, you make sure you give it a good shake, and and then do your dosing. The the, the dosing re um, recommendations are on the back. For my Nano, just as a guidance to you guys, I started slow, and I never, um, strayed actually from the dose that I settled on. So I only dose one mil of this every single day into my into my um, uh, cube upstairs it, um, in, in my kind of office. What I can tell you is it keeps my, this is me personally, right? It keeps my alkalinity at eight, it keeps my calcium at around 420 and it keeps my mag magnesium at, at, at about 1300. That's what dosing this every single day is doing for me in that tank. Now, this is gonna differ, right, for everyone. And you're gonna have to work out 
your own dose for your own um, application in your own tank. It's going to depend on, I guess, your salinity, right? It's going to depend on um, your uh, brand of salt as well. So what are you putting in the tank when you're doing your water changes? For full disclosure, I use um, Tropic Marine uh, Reef Pro. So you can go up and read what the kind of parameters are on that. Um, but that's what it's keeping my water at, right? Uh, and it was, I wasn't getting those parameters before, right? Especially my alkalinity, that, that would drop and drop and drop. Um, so yeah, I, I can only say good things about um, one. Um, it is pretty good. It's massively inexpensive. This stuff cost hardly anything. I can't remember, it's like 10 bucks or something. Um, and, and if you've got a small tank, right? I'm down to like here, right? and I've had this like a good month. So really swear by this. Um, it's really good stuff, especially for the uh, for the for the smaller tanks. So that's my roundup of um, kind of Polyp Lab products, what I use, how they've been working for me. What I want to do is in about a month's time, we'll go over this again, do an update, and uh, I'll tell you what's still working and what's not working. But um, right now. I use all these things um, on a daily basis. Actually, that's a lie. I don't feed this on a daily basis. I do that maybe once every two, once every three days. This stuff is done on a daily basis. Um, and if you're wondering about what time of day I do it, um, I do it all at feeding time, all at main feeding time in the evening, which for me is um, about four, quarter past four every day in the afternoon. So quarter past four p.m., 4.15 p.m. I will feed my fish. Um, I will then, after they've fed and I've turned the um, the wave the wave makers back on, I dose this straight into the tank, but in, into a high flow area, right? So um, actually, I dose it into where my return pumps are coming in, uh, and that's what I do, and and that works for me. Now I know it's not the regime is not going to work for everyone, right? And there's going to be different different opinions on this, and that's fine. This is what I do, and um, you check out my Instagram, right? You see uh, what my tank looks like. I'm not saying it's the best tank out there, right? But it's doing okay. So um, that's this week's vlog. Um, like I say, we'll catch up again in a month's time and probably go over this. Um, I thank you all for watching. I uh, appreciate that. Um, please subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe. Please do that little bell notification thing to know when I post a new video. I try and do them at least once a week, if not twice a week. Um, and, and please leave comments, uh, positive or negative, I don't care. Um, but if they're negative, just give some constructive feedback. Don't just uh, say this is uh, you know, a pile of uh, you know what. Leave, leave constructive feedback if you, if you wanna put a thumbs down and leave a negative comment. Thanks guys, I appreciate you watching.